Hey, thought I'd do a, a quick video here on transferring files between a remote machine and your local machine. So this is something that comes up fairly, uh, fairly often in Linux. So I'm sitting here on on my local machine. This is just a, a terminal window I'm running. It's called console. And let's say you know I make a, I make a directory called CSE two twenty four code that I'm going to do all my coding in. So this directory is empty. Okay, so if you want to transfer files from, say, you know, the Linux server, um, so you can SFTP your username at, you know, the server. And normally this will ask you for a password. If you set up, you know, authentication through a, um, a secure key, it won't ask you for the password. But if it asks you for the password, put in your password, okay? And, and once you're here, you know, you can say LS and see the files that are sitting in this this remote machine um, or you can do LLS and see the local files right so these are the files sitting on my my laptop with LLS LS shows me the files sitting on my remote machine and I can you know change directory into tools that's happening on the server so now if I do LS I see the tools directory on the server um, and again if I do LLS I'm sitting in my you know my CSE 224 code on my local server. So uh, PWD tells me what the current working directory is on the remote machine. Local PWD tells me the local working directory. This is on my laptop, right? So so Linux server that I connected to, local machine, right? Linux server that I connected to, local machine. So if I want to get a file, all I have to do is something like, let me do an ls-l to see what's on the remote machine. So here's something called Java run, right? That's a file. Let's say I want to transfer that to my laptop. I just say get Java run. And that will pull it down. And I'm just going to control Z temporarily. Don't do this unless you know how to do it. Um, just to come back to my Linux machine and, you know, there's, there's my file. And if I cat it out, I can see, you know, what's inside that. Um, and then FG to come back to STP. So, you know, now LLS shows me I've got my Java run. If you want to get more than one file at a time, you can use mget, and this will accept wildcards. So I could say mget, mget java star, and you can see it fetched two files, java comp and java run, and now if I do LLS, there's what those files are. And again, if I say, you know, let's make a new file, so this is sitting on my laptop. I've got a new file called haha. -ha. Um, that does not exist on the Linux server right now. If I want to push that over to the Linux server, the command is just put. So I can say put haha. -ha. And now it said, you know, uploading haha -ha to that directory. And now if I do an ls, there's my haha. -ha. And if I want to get rid of that, I can say remove haha. -ha, and it removed it from the, the foreign machine. So, um, so basically, you know, start off and control D gets me out. So, you know, start off in the directory where you want to be doing these transfers, you know, to or from, do your SFTP. And then if you want to change directories over there, you can use CD and uh, LS to see what files are there, PWD, printer directory, and so on and so forth. So it's almost like, you know, you type the usual Unix commands that you would use, but they all apply to the remote machine. And then when you want to actually transfer a file, just say get or put. Um, all right, that's a quickie. Have fun. Bye.